it's your boy Top back here with another video. <laughs> so, anyways, if you are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button as we're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. The support recently has just been absolutely crazy. Just moved into my new house. If you can't tell, the stream background is kind of empty as I get everything set up, but hopefully, you know, the YouTube uh, streaming background and everything like that will be uh, back to normal as soon as possible. But hey, without further ado, Let's hop right into the video. Today we are going to be going over the top 10 budget power forwards in NBA 2K20. My team, the range, the list range anywhere from like 2,000 MT upwards to about 50K. Just depends on kind of your budget. But that's why we're going to go through every single one of these cards. And I'm going to tell you guys which one is the best bang for your buck. Which, which of these cards are the best value cards for their particular price. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Starting the list off at number 10 is Pink Diamond Brian Scalabrini. And guys, he is going to be flooded today with the new packs. I do believe. Maybe. Let me check. Is he in the new packs? I'm pretty sure he is. I'm pretty sure Scal's in here. Fan favorites, right? Of course, Scal is going to be in there. I thought, but I wanted to make sure. So yeah, his price is going to be right around 6K, which is um, pretty cheap for this card. And in starting at number 10, there's not going to be that many better cards for their price in this card 98 three ball 80 driving duck 86 baseball handle not a great defender but decent enough to get by got an 85 speed which kills the card quite a bit so if you get a speed shoot in the and run dan tony he's gonna be a lot better 90 lateral quickness let's hop on down to the steel tennessee to see what he's rocking with an 80 on ball steel tennessee for brian scalabrini which is absolutely ridiculous Scow's got 30 Hall of Famers with 24 gold badges. Hall of Fame catches you, corner specialist, pick and popper, Tyler shooter range, standard quick draw, pick dodger, clamps, green machine, intimidator, dead eye, Tyler's defender, quick first step. So surprisingly, Scow's got some defensive badges as well as all, basically all the shooting badges in the game. 24 gold badges including bailout, needle threader, pogo stick, interceptor, box rim protector, pick pocket, as well as that gold brick wall. Guys, for 6K MT, offensively, he is going to be able to stretch the floor with that Hall of Fame range. Defensively, he's going to be decent as well. I mean, really, for a scout card, you can't ask for much more offensively and defensively. That's why he comes in at number 10 on my top 10 power forward budget player list. Coming in at number 9 on the list is Diamond Joe Smith. Guys, when this, first card, when this card first came out, I was super, super excited. I was like, this card is going to be the real deal. Until I saw his release. Not to say it's terrible. He does have the same release as Thurl Bailey. So, you know, the Chris Webber type release. I don't know. If you guys are a fan of it, I personally don't love the release. Nonetheless, he's got a 93 ball at 6 foot 10, I do believe. He's 6 foot 10, right? 6 foot 10, 93 ball, 80 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 93 perimeter defense, 86 interior defense. So it kind of reminds me stat wise of kind of the, an upgraded version of the Diamond Lamar Odom stat wise. Badge wise, he's way better. Um, good rebounder, 90 speed, 93 lateral quickness. He has 26 Hall of Fame badges. Hall of Fame catch and shoot, quick draw, relentless finisher, green machine, quick first step, downhill, Hall of Fame clamps, contact finisher, rebound, chaser, pogo stick, consistent finisher, tireless defender. 24 gold badges, including worm, post move, lockdown, intimidator, interceptor, box, pick dodger, tight enders, rim protector, pick pocket, and that gold range. Instead of now, I wish that was Hall of Fame range. But for a Diamond Joe Smith card for 2,000 MT, you cannot really complain one bit. That is why Diamond Joe Smith comes in at number 9 on my top 10 budget power forward list. Coming in at number 8, a card going for just over 40k right now is Pink Diamond Yalen. 7 feet tall, he can evolve to an opal, but we're just going to go with just the base Pink Diamond right now. Because the Evo does get a little bit more expensive, but... For just over 40k MT, this card is very, very good. 94 three ball, 85 driving dunk, 86 ball handle. Decent defender, but defensively, he's not going to be great. He doesn't have any great defensive stats, but he does have a 90 speed at 7 feet tall and an 87 lateral quickness. Looking right into the on ball steel tendency, that is a 79, so pretty good that right there as well. 32 Hall of Famers with 21 gold badges. Hall of Fame catch and shoot volume shooter, put back boss, rim protector, Hall of Fame range, quick draw. Intimidator, Deadeye, Unpluggable, Rebound Chaser, Pogo Stick, Tight Handles, Tireless Defender, Quick First Step, Consistent Finisher, Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork as well. 21 Hall of Fame, or 21 Gold Badges, including Gold Handles for Days, Needle Threader, Worm. Just some good badges all around. 53 Total Badges, Moving Truck, Interceptor. He can play, uh, I would 
I actually obviously play with the four, hence why he's on the power forward list. With that only gold clamps, gold box. Uh, but like I said, he's versatile as well as seven feet tall. He could definitely hold it down at the power forward position, but he is a little bit pricey. That is why Yi Yalen comes in at number eight on my top 10 power forward budget player list. Guys, no, this is not a DBG video, but Amethyst Dean Wade, just the Amethyst, not the Evo, deserves to be on this list. He really, really does for what he can do. Six foot nine, 94 three ball, 95 driving hook, 86 ball handle, decent defender with the 89 speed and 90 lateral quickness. Let's hop down to the Steel Tennessee, which is an 85. Super, super good for Amethyst Dean Wade. Hopping right into the badges here, 21 Hall of Famers with 19 gold badges, but this card, remember, goes for just over 3k MT, anywhere from 2 to 4, really, It's what you're going to find this card for. 21 Hall of Famers, 19 gold badges, Hall of Fame, Tyler, Shooter, Rating, Standard, Quick, Draw, Green Machine, Quick First Step, Pogo Stick, so some very, very good offensive badges, obviously, 19 gold badges, which include Tyler's Defender, Handles for Days, Gold Clamps, Tight Handles, Unpluckable, Pick Dodger, Pick Pocket, guys, defensively, he's not going to be good, but offensively, he's got a pretty good release with his Hall of Fame range. Guys, this D-Wade card is going to be able to get it done for a very, very cheap price. I think he is just a little bit better than Joe Smith because of his release. That is why D-Wade comes in at number seven on my top 10 budget power forward list. Coming in at number six on my top 10 budget power forward list is Pink Diamond Al Harrington. This card is one of the newer cards, but he can tween, which makes this card super, super good at 6'9". I will hop right into it. One thing I want to say is he does have a Carmelo Anthony type release, so he cannot shoot corner threes. It's 96 three ball, 96 driving dunk, 86 ball handle. I wish I was just a little bit higher, although he can, you know, speed boost um, and peekaboo, all that type of stuff. When he gets tired, then it, you know, is kind of in that in-between range. 91 perimeter defense. Um, DC rebounder, 90 speed with a 90 lateral quickness. Let's hop on down to the All Ball Steel Tennessee, which is a 69. So pretty good for this Al Harrington card. 36 Hall of Famers with 24 gold badges, 60 total badges. Hall of Fame catch and shoot. Volume shooter, Tyler shooter, range extender, quick draw, clamps, hot zone hunter, dead eye, pogo stick, Tyler's defender, tight handles, quick first step, uh, handles for days with the tween, fancy footwork, guys. This card for 9K MT. Is, is tough to be. He really, really is for this price point. 24 gold badges, including Pro Touch, Space Creator, Unpluckable, Rebound, Chaser, Intimidator, Interceptor. The one thing I do wish about this Al Harrington card is he had a little bit better defensive badges. That's the only thing that I can, you know, kind of take back from this card. He's, a, he's only 6'9 at the power forward position. He doesn't have incredible defensive badges. He doesn't. But offensively, he is going to be very, very good. For 9,000 MT, you are definitely getting what you pay for this Al Harrington card. That is why he comes in at number six on my top 10 budget power forward list. Coming in at number five on my top 10 budget power forward list is Diamond Danny Manning. And he kind of gets overshadowed by the pink diamond, which we'll see later on in this video. But at six foot 10, for under, for anywhere from two to three KMT, you're not going to beat this Danny Manning card. 83, 89 three ball. 90 driving hook, 86 ball handle, decent defender, not a good rebounder, 88 speed with the 88 lateral quickness. So he's not, I mean, stat-wise, he, he's not bad, but he's not that over-the-top good. He does have a 68 on-ball steal tendency. Let's hop right into the badges. 22 Hall of Famers, 25 gold badges, 47 total badges, Hall of Fame catch and shoot, hot zone hunter, green machine, uh, quick first step needle threader. As you guys can see, no really defensive badges up there. 25 gold badges, including pogo stick, post move lockdown, tireless defender, rebound chase, and moving truck, intimidator, interceptor, uh, clamps, pig dodger, rim protector. As you guys can see, all of his defensive badges, as well as gold, quick draw, and gold range, are on like all of these badges are on gold. So instead of having the important Hall of Fame badges, most of his important ones are on gold, which is it draws back from the card, but for 2k, for 2000 MT. You're not going to find much better. You're really not. He has the badges. They're just all gold. Kind of reminds me of an upgraded version of that Diamond Lamar Odom card, really. That is why Danny Manning Diamond comes in at number five on my top 10 budget power forward list. Coming in at number four on my top 10 budget power forward list is Galaxy Opal Larry Keenan. I think that's how you pronounce it. I, I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name, but he does go for just under 40,000 MT, six foot nine. Not 85 three ball, 98 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, great defender, great rebounder, 92 speed with a 96 ladder quickness. I know a lot of people say, uh, I don't know about his release. I personally like his release. He also has a 70 all ball steel tendency. At six, at six foot nine, 
The only drawback is he doesn't have an extremely high three ball. But with a coach that boosts it, I mean, it's still in the 90s. So, I mean, that will get the job done. 43 Hall of Famers with 19 gold badges. 62 total badges. Hall of Fame catch and shoot, brick wall, quick draw, relentless finisher, unpluggable, tight handles, quick first step, pickpocket, uh, rim protector, pick dodger, box. Did I say box? He got box on Hall of Fame? I did not expect that. Clamps, Interceptor, Intimidator, like I said, all the defensive badges, as well as Hall of Fame handles for days, rebound, chaser, pogo stick, Tyler's Defender, Worm, um, just incredible finishing badges. The only drawback really on this card is the fact that he does only have gold range extend. That kills the card. If he had Hall of Fame range, he would definitely be in my top three. 100% would be in my top three. Nonetheless, for under 40k MT, he is a pretty good option. He Obviously a pretty good option as he comes in at number four on my top 10 budget power forward list. Coming in at number three on my list is one of my favorite cards in the game. Not to say he's one of the best, but one of my favorite cards to use in this game. That is Pink Diamond Jeff Green, six foot nine, 93 ball, 95 driving dunk with a very good release. His release is very, very quick, easy to get off, especially off like a peekaboo type shot. 88 ball handle, good steal, perimeter defense as well. Good rebounder, 95 speed with a 95 lateral quickness. All around this card is incredible. The only downfall is his 30 on ball steal tendency, which just absolutely kills the card. In total, he does have 61 total badges, 35 of them being on Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame catch and shoot, volume shooter, realize finisher, Tyler shooter, Hall of Fame quick draw green machine, tie handles, pickpocket, pick dodger clips, quick first step interceptor, intimidator, moving truck, Tyler's defender, as well as some good finishing badges. 26 gold badges, including worm, rebound, chaser, bailout, handles for days, needle threader, uh, space creator, unpluckable. The only downfall, like Larry, is that gold range extender. But for a decent, um, a decent price, right around 20k, it's gonna be hard pressed to find a better card than this Pink Diamond Jeff Green card. He does come in at number three on my top 10 budget power forward list. Coming in at number two on my top 10 budget power forward list, it's a card that goes for just under, right around anywhere from 40 to 50k. Um, usually in that range, right around 40 probably. Uh, now, you might argue he's not a budget player, but 40k is not that bad, especially for this Onyeka card. This card is extremely good, especially on the defensive end. 6'9", 86 3 ball. His release is not good. He has that Isak Bonga type release, Paul Pierce, you know. Can't shoot corner threes, and that just kills the card. Uh, 98 driving dunk, 87 ball handle, 98 block, 97 steal, 98 perimeter defense, and a 98 interior defense, 94 rebounding stats, 95 speed with a 97 lateral quickness. Defensively, he is ridiculous. 95 on ball steal tendency as well. Just an absolutely insane defender. If you're looking for one of the best defenders to even put on ball in the game, this Onyeka card is up there. 50 total Hall of Fame badges with 16 gold badges. Hall of Fame, catch and shoot, brick wall, volume shooter, quick draw, pickpocket, rim protector, pick dodger box, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, moving truck, rebound, chaser, pogo stick. If you're looking for a guy to stop like a Ben Simmons, Magic Johnson, this guy is it. Tyler's defender, Warren, back down, punisher, consistent finisher, contact, finisher. I could go through all of these. Unplugable, tie handles, quick first step, 16 gold badges, and his gold badges are pretty good. Needle threader, handles for days, bailout. Uh, dimer, range extender, and break starter. So, some pretty valuable gold badges as well. If this Onyeka card had a better release, he would play on my team 110%. I would find a spot for him because of how good he is defensively, but his release does really kill the card. Nonetheless, he is a very good value card coming in at number two on my top 10 budget power forward list. Coming in at number one is a card that's going to get even cheaper. I wouldn't be surprised by the end of the day if this Danny Manny card might be 7K. And, okay, he's already 7K. He might get to around 5K today with these Super Packs. I would not be the light, the least bit surprised. I really wouldn't at all. But for 7K, he comes in at number one on my top 10 budget power forward list. 92 3 ball, 95 driving dunk, 88 ball handle. He does have that LaMarcus Aldridge type base, but... I've gotten used to it, and I can green pretty consistently with the card. Decent defender, decent rebounder, 92 speed with a 92 lateral quickness. Let's hop in to see what his on-ball steal tendency is. 68, which at 6'10 is not bad at all. 39 Hall of Famers, 24 gold badges, 63 total badges. Hall of Fame catch and shoot. Relentless finisher, range extender, quick draw, green machine, clamps, dead eye, unpluckable, intimidator, moving truck, quick first step, needle threader, pogo stick, tireless defender. Some just absolutely incredible badges. A lot of finishing badges as well. 24 gold badges, post lockdown, handles for days, rebound, chaser, tight, handles, interceptor, 
pick Dodger pickpocket. Like I said, I wish some of these badges would be on Hall of Fame, but for right, just over 5K MT. Danny Manning is far away the best budget power forward in NBA 2K20. I hope that is going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. Is there any buddy budget power forward that I missed? If there is, comment that down below as well. Guys, I love y'all and have a blessed day.